I'm going to show you in this video how to replace the chain on your MSA 160C. Hey, if you're tuning into this video, don't forget to hit subscribe. You can go right below, hit the subscribe button. You can even hit the little bell that pops up and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Listen, that's a big deal. Don't just pass it by. It really shows your support. It helps my channel grow. Thank you in advance. Let's get into doing some work on this saw. Now, this is a battery operated chainsaw, um, not gas. The only fluid it requires is a little bit of bar oil up here in the front. Um, I was recently working on my carport, which I've got videos up on this channel. If you want to see that build, check those out. Um, what I needed though, is I needed to trim my eaves back so that I could get the roof of the carport in, you know, high enough up. And, uh, I decided to just climb up there, use this chainsaw to do it. Battery saw is pretty light. I was comfortable cutting, but I ended up hitting a few nails. Those nails destroyed the chain on this. I had the chain for a little while. I've been using it. I mean, it was, it, it's, it's been dull. You know, I kind of sharpened it quick and made those cuts, but hitting those nails, they actually ripped a couple teeth right off the chain. So I was out and about the other day and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to buy a new chain. I want to do some more videos cutting with this for you guys. So, you know, the best thing to do is put a fresh chain on it. And I was thinking about it. It's like, you know, people really enjoyed the video of uh, me reviewing this saw. So I might as well walk you through the steps of replacing the chain on this saw. You know, maybe you're not familiar with doing those things. Maybe you would just take this saw into your local dealer and say, hey, put a new chain on this for me. But really, replacing a chain on a chainsaw is pretty easy. I mean, you can do it. The first thing you're going to want to do before you even get started is make sure you've got the right chain. How do you figure that out? Well, you go to your local dealer and you tell them, I have an MSA 160C. You need to know your bar size. You know, if you're not sure, you can do what I've done. Take a picture of it right here. I'll bring the camera in close in a little bit so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But you've got some numbers here where the bar is pretty close to the chainsaw. And these numbers basically tell you what chain you're going to need for it. So with this saw, you don't even need a wrench. This has the quick release here. You know, you untwist it and this is going to undo and loosen everything up. You need this wrench for most saws though. Normally you've got some nuts here that you've got to undo, loosen up, take off in order to pull this plastic piece off. So before you get into doing any actual work or taking anything apart on this, it's important to remove the battery. Take your battery out, set it aside. You don't need it right now. Why do we remove the battery? Well, this isn't a gas powered saw. With a gas powered saw, you would just shut it off and you're safe enough to work on it. With it being a battery operated saw, there's always that risk that something could short out your chain could turn on, rip your hands apart. I always like to take it out. Somebody might say, hey, there's enough fail safe things on there, you'll be fine. Well, I like my hands. If you like yours, take your battery out. What's it hurt, right? So with the battery out, the next step's gonna be to twist this piece off. Easy stuff, a few twists, and this whole plastic cover comes off. Mine's wadded full of sawdust. I haven't cleaned this thing recently. Um, if you have an airline, take it outside, blow it off. If you have to, use a brush. Just kind of clean this area up. It'll help you just disassemble and reassemble without too many issues. You got all this junk in the way and it just, you know, it could give you a little bit of a hard time reassembling and all that. So I brought the camera in closer so you guys can see. I just blew this off real quick outside. Um, all that sawdust and everything is just going to be full of oil and all that. It's just blow it out outside, save you a little bit of a mess later. Now with this off, <clears throat> you can really see in here. We've got the cover off already and you can see what's going on. Now, if your chain's still a little tight, go ahead and twist this until you see it physically loosen up. Then you can go ahead, just grab it all at once, set it aside. If you're more comfortable wearing gloves, go ahead and wear gloves. There's a possibility to cut yourself on your chains. You know, they can be really sharp. I know mine's dull and just, it's not gonna cut me. Yours could though. So take safety precautions if that's what you need to do, um, if you're unsure. 
Now I'm looking in here and there's really not much else that I need to do. I could blow this out a little more and clean it. You could take the time and get this looking brand new again and you know, do all that. That's, that's totally up to you. Really what we're getting down to though is these pieces right here. You've got your bar, you got this piece with teeth on it. This actually connects to this piece on the inside and this is where you'll tighten everything back together when we're done. So you wanna go ahead and just remove the chain. It's pretty easy, just pop it off, done. Set it aside. And there's your bar. Everything's apart here. Where's my, uh, my links? If I can find it. Right there. That's a missing tooth. That one. Right there, I broke that tooth right off. There's a good tooth, there's a missing tooth. So nails will kill your chain. This thing is so dull that when I cut even pine now, it just smokes like there's a fire. Let's get the new chain out of the box. This is a OEM steel chain. Like I said, I got this from the dealer. Uh, matched it up for the saw and the bar that I have. Now normally, these things seem like they're a knot. Boy, they give me a hard time. These chains like to give me a hard time when I pull them out of the box. As you can see there, you know, it's probably my fault. Somebody will be like, oh, it's the way you do it. Eh, whatever. You got to mess around with it a little bit, though, once in a while. And uh, take your time. Got to have some patience. Patience is key. All right, well, now we've got something like that going on. I don't know what, uh, we got two knots there. That's, yeah, that looks okay. Anyway, you got this little knot in a chain, right? When you're looking at it, this, let's see here if I can make this a little, spread this out so you guys can see what, what I'm looking at. So you pull your chain out, it looks knotted, and you end up with these loops. This one goes over, and this one goes over. You see the piece here? These two go over it. So how do you fix it? Set it down. Lay it down and kind of pull the knots apart so you can look at everything. As long as they go over one another, grab this side and pull it back. I know it's simple, but... Sometimes people get frustrated and, and they're just, they're the easiest things to, to do. I mean, there's times that, you know, when I first started messing with chainsaws, I just, for the life of me, could not get a knot out. I know that might seem dumb, but to somebody that doesn't do this all the time, the little things can just really deter you from doing a very simple job that you can do yourself and save yourself some money. All right, so we've got the chain all set. We want to make sure that the chain goes on the bar the correct way. This is how the bar sits on the saw. Motor sits here. So when this spins, it comes around this way to cut. So you're cutting this way, so your teeth are pulling that way, right? So you want to go ahead and look at the chain. And line it up. <clears throat> see what's going on. Okay, I know it's kind of hard to see with everything, but when you're looking at this chain, you'll have these teeth that are slanted back and they're grooved in. Now, mind you, this is for someone who hasn't, you know, they've got this neat saw for doing some work in their yard and they're thinking about just, you know, I could put a chain on myself if I know how to do it. This is not for you guys that are out there cutting trees and carving all the time and all that. You know, I know you guys know how to put a chain. It's simple to you. I, I get it. This is for the homeowner that just was unsure on how to do this. Anyway. <clears throat> so we're looking at this all right let's see if I can get you guys a little closer shot here here's your chain all right you can see the teeth here this is the tooth that cuts this is what I call a raker or they call your depth gauge now you want though this well this is the front of them let's see here if I can if you guys can see here there you go there's a tooth see my beard there like that that's what's sharp okay so when you lay this down, just lay it right around your uh, your bar on your workbench. And when you're looking, imagine this thing spinning around, okay? It seems kind of silly, but imagine this thing is spinning around. So the part that I showed you that slants back should be the part that's cutting into the teeth. It does seem kind of hard to explain. Um, hmm. Let me get a piece of paper and I'll draw you something a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm talking about. 
All right, so I want to show you guys what way the chain should be cutting. You might not have been paying attention when you took it off, and now you're like, oh, great, how does this thing go on? Well, I will show you. Like, on the bottom of the bar, okay? They're not going to cut this way. They need to be facing, see how they're facing forward, which be toward the nose of the bar? The teeth need to be facing this way, toward the back of the bar, on the bottom side. So those teeth need to be going the other way. Top drawing, three teeth. That's how the teeth should look on the bottom side of your bar. So when you're looking, all right, they don't look right. Pull that chain back off. Try not to get it knotted up again. And just flip it. Put it back on. Now look. Look at your drawing. If you have to, just draw it up, you know. Lay it right here in front of you. Okay. Teeth need to be facing the back of the bar. That's where the teeth are, are grooved in like this. You can see the sharp edge. And that should be on the bottom side of your bar. All right, so I'm good. They're facing that way. I hope you can keep up. I hope I hope this is explained. It might be a little over explained, but. I grab the nose of the bar like so. Get my chain down, put it in the groove. Now it's gonna slap around. It's, it's probably not gonna stay there, but kind of sets you up. Put my saw on its side. Now you've got a, a, a bolt sticking out here and you've got this, these teeth here on the saw. Those teeth are gonna go right, whoop, those teeth are gonna go right in here on the saw, and that bolt is gonna go through this hole, come out of this hole. Put it on the, uh, listen for you guys, put it on here first, and then line up to pop in like that, all right? All right, so now it's on. Hold it with your one hand. Use this. Give it a good couple twists, and you should see your stain. I'm sorry. See your chain. <laughs> your stain. See your chain start to tighten. I do it just so it's snug, and the bar will stay on. Looking at it again. All right. Your chain runs this way. Your chain's going to run up and pull through the wood on the bottom side. Want to make sure those teeth are grooved in so they're cutting that chain comes around. Everything looks good here. I'm gonna bring this a little closer to me. Take my plastic piece. You've got a nut here that's gonna go on that bolt. Just in case you, you weren't paying attention, got excited, pulling it apart. I'm just walking you through simplest form. All right, so there's that bolt. Line that up. Oh, you've also got these uh, little pieces here to line up. You got some holes and some spots. Make sure everything's popped in there, you know, nice and even. A little cold out here in the shop today. My hands are getting cold. They don't want to function properly. So everything's lined up. Start giving uh, this couple twists. What usually ends up happening is I end up tightening this thing down some. And then seeing how loose my chain is. It is not loose at all. There's no play. Now that we've tightened this down a little bit, you're going to have to loosen it back up. Just turn it back a couple times. We don't want everything to come apart. See, it's still on there, but this is, it's loose. Check the play in your chain, the tension. That is tight. Now with this saw, there's this easy thing right here. Give this a couple pulls back. You can pull this to the back of the saw. That's how I'm twisting it. And that's loosening up my chain. Look at all that play. Way too much. That thing will end up popping off there, I'm sure. So I'm going to tighten this back up some. What I like to do is be able to pull it just a little top and bottom here just to make sure everything's kind of, you know, <clears throat> loosened up. You don't do full turns once you get to this point. Now I'm turning it back forward because I want to, I just want this tension to be just right in here, you know. And there'll be adjustments. This is a new chain. Once you get cutting, you're going to be like, oh man, this thing is super loose. Or it may actually tighten up on you real bad. You're going to have to loosen this up. Use this little uh, thing here that you turn. I don't know, technical term is. 
and give it a couple twists. So I push it forward, chain's tight. I pull it back, the chain loosens. So that chain's a little kind of loose. Got it about right there. That looks good to me. What I want to do is grab this. And if you were looking down on it, we're going clockwise. Crank this thing on good and tight. Pop that down. Check my tension again. That looks good to me. So this saw is now ready to cut. Well, your chain's good to go. You got to make sure you got bar oil in it or you're just going to burn your chain out and you're going to need to sharpen it. Um, this is good to go though. If you need to go do some cutting right away, simple as that, you pop your battery in there, check it, full bars. I just got done charging mine and that's it. You're all set. So I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it's been able to walk you through on a simple job that's maybe been, you know, kind of daunting or just a little, uh, intimidating to you. Um, it's really easy though, you know, if you're still unsure, go back, hit play, watch it a couple different times. Um, if you have questions, feel free to ask, you know, I'll, I'll answer real questions. I'm not going to answer ridiculous ones, but it's, it's an easy job. You know, you don't really need to take this to a dealer to put a new chain on or a bar for that matter. That's something that you can do at home right on your workbench and, uh, save you a few bucks. I want to just say thank you for watching today. If you found this video helpful, if you know this is really gonna help you do what you need to get done, that's awesome, that's my goal. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit subscribe. There's gonna be a subscribe button popping up right here in this corner. Hit that, check it out. I just wanna thank you again for viewing and I'll see you next time.